Hello everybody, I'm the Gaming Pegs 187. I'm back with another episode of Supercard. It is 3.38 in the morning. There's a good reason I've been up this late playing this friggin' game. Because I've had some amazing luck over this RTG. Probably one of the best RTGs I've had in a long time. Okay, so... Partly has to do with previous King of the Ring awards and some lucky pulls, so I'm going to take it just as things happened. So, I do have an Elite Pro Randy Orton. I pulled it off the board about an hour and a half before the RTG started. Great pro to have. Easily, he's one of the best in the tier. I don't need to do anything like I did with Gals, and I'm going to do with my Carl Anderson. So, I... Basically, went power, toughness, speed with him. Very good card. So that made the fourth elite pro of the tier. In a previous, a couple previous King of the Rings, I got the second Naomi and I got a Kevin Owens. Now, I wasn't too happy about getting the Owens. That's because he was a single. Well, I'll get to that here in a second. But, now... As you may recall, my last two pulls before the RTG were supports. And one of them not a very good support. Well, that streak ended with Seth Rollins. So, I'm in a really good mood. I get a best card in the tier, right up there, along with Joe and Brock. So, think about that. If I remember right, I think the five best non-throwback or event cards are Brock, Joe, Seth, Cena, and Owens, I believe, as far as males. So, that was a great card to pull. But then, barely like 24 hours later, I pull... We'll get to my combinables... I pulled a second Owens. If I can get over here. So, I end up winning the best cards in Elite Tier. That I'm now going to be able to pro. So now at this point, that's two pros. Owens and Naomi. And of course, Mankind, which I did get. As you saw in the beginning of the video that I just decided to record because... Well, I broke things up. I did uh, double King of the Ring rewards the last video, and then this is all going to be about the RTG results. And so, barely later that day, like literally, no, I'm doing, I'm grinding two pointers at this point. I end up dropping down to do all uncommons. So there's your green team strategy, which works fantastic. Throw my uh, managers in there so I have full stat coverage, and it's unfrickin' beatable. As long as you're a little careful with the opponents, because if you're not careful, you just you can lose. Happened to me once. I ended up getting again. I was down like last twenty minutes in the RTG. I got that, but before that, early pull Roman Reigns. So that made that's four pros. That's four freaking pros. I'm about to get. Totally worth it. So, we will start with ladies first. As you can see, all games played, all tokens fully leveled. I don't want to make any mistakes here. You know, it would be a disaster if I miss pro something, although I think I fucked up on the tokens with this. But it may not matter in the end, because I think I the way I did the math, I was looking at it, I think... I shouldn't have as many problems with, as long as I get a proc, I think I can beat most cards, except some of the best ones, but I think I'll be okay, because like Paige and Charlotte are not speed, so unless they get token at speed, I'm okay. So I think I'm fine, I wasn't paying attention, I was so hasty with tokening, and I'm like, oh wait, should have did Charisma, shit. Okay, not bad, I think it can work, I mean, she's got, Naomi's got Great charisma, great power. So, let's see, everything's played. 
make sure one more time because females trying to pro up and it's, like leveling these things up isn't the, the bad part. Just trust me, I've got things I can waste and do it. It's the games because a lot of times females don't get called and even then it's usually not the match you're looking for. So. First Elite Female Pro. Again, not one of the mid-tier, kind of upper mid-tier, so good card. Really happy with that. Now the next one, Kevin Owens. A literally, I think like the first reset I one of the first resets I had after getting Seth. When that animation pops up, because when you get, even now, because when you get the support, you you miss it. Everything's played, all the tokens are there, fully leveled. One last check: power, toughness, charisma. No special, stupid, crazy shit I'm doing on this. Owens is too good of a card. I think I I could have. But I decided not to because Owens is going to be a great power toughness card. And he's going to smoke a lot of shit in Charisma. Now I just hope I have enough cards to level this shit up. Because the two ultimate pros are going in, my, in the team deck. And that's going to bump us into Elite. Which is a Smackdown card, so I'm hoping it's something I could pro. And then here we go. Power, toughness, charisma. No need to fuck with speed on Roman, in my opinion. Just power, toughness, and charisma. Which I always found funny because Slater, Finn, and Roman are all around this, literally the same stat levels. With how I tokened them. There it is. Ultimate Pro... God, look at those fire effects, too. And then, of course... The Event Card. Now, the Roman and the Event Card were... Weren't as much work, because I, they were all... The first one was already done. 40, 40, 40, all the 40s, 20. So, Power, Toughness, Charisma on Mankind... And I think fully maxed out, he's going to smoke the throwback mankind. 40, 40, 40, 20. Combining. Someone on Twitter silver starred their mankind. I think that was in response to Supercard's fucking tweet. Can't wait to see all those Mankind pros out there. And I have one of them. So, let's go lock all this shit up. I'm going to level this stuff off camera. Maybe get a little more grinding in, and then I'm going to bed because it's about 4 in the morning. It's a good thing I'm a fucking night owl. So... I just wish I had some alternate images for Mankind, but that's okay. Lock. And Elite. I haven't started another King, uh, King of the Ring yet, either. Where are you? Scrolled right past you two. And then I'm going to see where they end up with my RTG deck and see where that puts it. I think my RD deck's not going to be as big of a deal. Because I'll probably throw a couple of low cards in there. And it's just going to make it a little easier so my matchups work out a little better. So, yeah. And, to be honest, there is only one Owens image you use. You have it. With the Universal title... Alright, Pegasus out.